everyone, it's Scott again, back with another episode of Android iPad TV. Just for you subscribers to note, uh, every Wednesday I'll be featuring my Android apps feature, and then on Fridays uh, I'll be featuring my iPad apps features. And so uh, look forward to that every week. Um, you know, I may miss a week here and there just by crazy schedules and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully, you know, about every week I, I hit my mark. And so Wednesdays and Fridays, look forward to that. All right, welcome to this week's iPad Features of the Week. This week I'm going to be featuring two applications. One's called Reader, which is one of my personal favorites uh, for Google Reader. And the other one actually isn't an application. It's just something that I think all iPad users should get or, or get something similar to it. And that's a, a Bluetooth keyboard, and I'm going to be showcasing that. And hopefully you guys enjoy some of my uh, applications and tips here in this video. Thank you. All right, the first application I'd like to feature here is called Reader. A lot of iOS people should should be pretty familiar with this one, but this is definitely my favorite application. I use it like every day, mostly because I'm such a Google Reader fanatic. I love to, you know, subscribe to things in my Google Reader and use them. But what I like best about this is I can click on a particular feed. Now I'm an I'm an NBA fan, so if I just want to read about my NBA stories, I can click on this. All right, and then I can read the synopsis of them or I can click on them and, and read them in a nice readable fashion. And you see this actually still just has the short version, but if I want to read the whole version I can just simply click there and it will open up um, sort of a browser page here of what I'm looking at. It's drawn from Yahoo and if I double tap it will fit it to the page. It just makes it nice and readable, you see? I can scroll down I see it a little laggy, but there we go. And if I want to go, if I'm done reading this one, I can then go back and I can just click on this down arrow and it'll jump to my next one really quickly. And so it's really nice, you know, pretty quick. You know, love the animations and it's just, it's a really nice application. Now let's say I, I'm reading this and I realize, oh man, this is going to take me a long time, this is a long article, but I really want to read it later. Well, I can just click on this little button and there we've got options for read it later, Instapaper, you know, I can post something to Facebook really quick or, or uh, view it on Safari or send it to Twitter and, and do that sort of thing. And, and I often use read it later, that way I can go through my news feeds and then just filter out the ones I, I actually want to spend some time on and then I open up read it later and read them. Uh, but this is a really nice application and, and hopefully you guys download it. It's $4.99 in the App Store. Alright, so this is me inside the Evernote application. And, and one of my favorite things about a tablet is just how, how nice and big it is uh, compared to you know e-readers and that sort of thing. Um, but still a lot smaller and more compact than a laptop. But you know, one of the disadvantages is the digital keyboard. You know, it's not a bad digital keyboard, but sometimes it just does get a little tedious to type on this thing. So I went and bought myself a Logitech Bluetooth keyboard. And this is available on Amazon for $58.99. I got it at Fry's for $49.99. So if you shop around a little bit, you might be able to get a better deal. But you know, roughly about $50 to $60 to get this keyboard. And there are other options out there. But I highly encourage it. And this is kind of, this is it here. And this is, and it just has this nice little case, protects it. Looks like that. It's very small and compact. And I can open it up, pull the keyboard out. This is really difficult to do with one hand. And this snaps up like this. Again, I highly recommend using two hands to do this. There we go. Comes a little bridge. Put my keyboard here, and we are making sort of a custom iPad laptop, if you will. Put that there, and then now if I flip flick this switch here, this keyboard is actually going to disappear. And now I can start just typing the same way I would. On a laptop and look how quickly it types. I mean, I'm obviously typing nothing, but you know, there's no lag. There's no noticeable lag at all. And so it works basically just like a, a laptop, you know, and you, you got your different 
keys here that are special just for the, the iPad. So this is obviously your home key and that will take you back home. And if I double press that, it should open up a menu where I can go back to my application that I was just in. And there you go. So saves you time. Hopefully you enjoy having a nice keyboard. This is also a, a keyboard that's available for Android, um, Android uh, tablets if you have one of those too. So um, keep in mind how functional and how small these keyboards can be and how they'll really improve your uh, tablet experience. This is Scott here from Android iPads signing off. Thank you very much.